The Rocketeers Learning Center remained closed Thursday after police say an employee killed an eight-month-old baby inside. And to me and all of us who are parents, when we look at something like that, there's not an explanation that anyone could give from what I saw why would you would treat a, uh, a eight-month-old baby or any child for that matter in that manner. Police say they were called there Tuesday afternoon and found baby Reese Bowman not breathing. They rushed her to the hospital, but it was too late. The daycare owner gave police video and they call what caretaker Leah Walden did on that video disturbing. Reese Bowman, uh, in my opinion, was tortured. Uh, the video was show Miss Walden covering the baby with excessive blankets for long periods of time, which fully covered the child's head. She violently snatched the child out of the crib by one arm several times, swinging at the baby as if she was slapping her and placing pillows over the baby face. Police arrested and charged Walden with numerous offenses, including first degree murder. Police say another infant in the same room is not harmed. They say others worked at the daycare, but Walden was in a room alone with the two babies. It's obvious to me um, while she's there, she's constantly looking to see who's looking at her. So uh, there's other people there, but she's the only person in this particular room uh, that have access to uh, this child. People who live and work near the daycare are stunned and saddened. It hurts because I love children. I have great grandchildren. It hurts. Child abuse investigators are working alongside homicide detectives to investigate and determine if there are any other victims. Police said they have no idea of Walden's motive for this attack on the baby. Just evil. I mean, what motive could you possibly have for an eight-month-old baby to treat a baby that way? There is no motive that can explain something like this. The Bowman family released a statement saying in part, quote, our family is suffering tremendous pain and wishes to grieve in private. Our hearts are broken. No one should ever have to experience the loss of a child under any circumstances, end quote. Reporting live in Southeast Baltimore, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.